In under five minutes, I'm gonna show you how to use the left, right, and mid functions in Excel. And so by the end of this video, you'll learn how to extract a substring from any text value. And with that being said, let's jump right in. Okay, so first I wanna talk about left. And this function basically returns a certain number of characters from the left side of the text. So here's the syntax. The first argument is the text, which basically is the text that you want to extract from. The second argument is the number of characters that you want to return. So for example, let's just say that you want to return the first five characters of a text. Then you can specify the text in the first argument, and you want to enter in five in the second argument, since you want to get five characters. Now looking at this table that we got over here, I want to get the area code, which represents the first three characters of the phone number. Now you might say that we can just type in 210, which represents the area code. But if we do that, then we're gonna have to manually type in all the different area codes for each separate row. And so this is gonna be really tedious. So the left function basically allows us to just fill out the cell for the first row, and then we can drag in and let Excel auto-complete the rest of the rows for us. So here's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna say equals and then left, and then go to my function argument window. And in a text, I want the cell A3. And the number of characters I want is the first three characters of the phone number. So I'm just gonna say three. And that gives me 210, and then I just have to double click that, autofills everything for me. Now moving on to the right function. This function works exactly the same way, but this time it returns a certain number of characters from the right side of the text. So here's the syntax. It's exactly the same as left. So the first argument is basically the text, and the second argument is the number of characters. So let's say I wanna get the extension numbers. I would have to do equals and then right, and then go to my function argument window, select the text, and then select the number of characters that I want, which is three in this case, and click OK, which gets me 355, which is what we want. And then we just double click that, and it automatically completes the whole column for us. Now, last but not least, I'm gonna talk about the mid function. And this function is a bit trickier than left and right. So it returns the number of characters in the text from a starting position. So here's the syntax. The first argument is the text, and the second argument is the starting number, which represents the position of the first character you want to extract. Now the third argument represents the number of characters from the starting position that you provided in the second argument. So let me explain more. If we want to get the landline, we need to get these eight characters in the middle of the text. And we want to get eight characters starting from the fifth character. So what that's gonna look like in Excel is we say equals mid, and then our text is A3, our starting number is five, and the number of characters that we want from the starting number is eight. Because the length of each of these text values is the same, we can easily complete the whole column by just using the autofill feature. But if the length of these values were different, then we'd run into a problem. And to solve this problem, we have to use something called the search function, which I'm gonna talk about in the next video. And if that video is published already, you'll see it show up on the screen, but if not, then make sure to stay tuned. And so that's it for this video. I hope you found it helpful, and I hope to see you around in another video.